speakers, Mr. Deputy Prime Minister, Mr. Vice President of our party, Madam Salma, Deputy AU Chair, Dr. Mohammed, a good friend of Ethiopia and myself, esteemed visioners, dear friends, and valued partners, and Kwan Dehanametachu. I am honored to welcome you to Addis Ababa, the diplomatic heart of our continent where African unity has always found a voice and a vision. It is a pleasure to host you at this high-level policy dialogue on the development and regulation of artificial intelligence in Africa. Today, we stand on the verge of a new era, one that promises inclusive prosperity for our continent, powered by homegrown innovations in artificial intelligence. It also holds the potential to accelerate the implementation of the African Union Agenda 2063. AI is no longer a distant dream. It is the engine of transformation across sectors, geographies, and societies. Many of Africa's pressing challenges, such as agricultural inefficiencies, healthcare gaps, poor education, youth unemployment, irregular migration, and inefficient public service can be addressed through AI-powered solutions. Farmers can use predictive analytics to improve crop yields and adapt to climate change. In healthcare, AI can enable faster diagnosis, better resource allocation, and enhanced disease surveillance. AI-driven, personalized learning tools will expand access to quality education and help build a future-ready workforce. Yet, with these opportunities come real risks. Job displacement, rising inequality, and widening digital divides. That's why Africa must lead with bold, inclusive policies, agile regulation, and accelerated skill development. Above all, we must claim ownership of our data, the foundation of artificial intelligence. Data sovereignty is not just technical. It affirms our right to shape our own future by investing in local data infrastructure, promoting ethical data use, and setting standards aligned with our values. We reduce dependency on external technologies and unlock AI's full potential for Africa. As we gather here today to reflect on the promise and power of AI, we must recognize that the future we seek will not be delivered by technology alone. It will be forged through partnerships, global in ambition, inclusive in design, and collaborative in execution. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, five years ago, Ethiopia made a bold decision. We recognized that artificial intelligence is more than a tool. It is a transformative force. We made a deliberate choice not to remain passive consumers of imported innovation, but to become active contributors, leveraging AI to address challenges grounded in our own realities. Expressed in our own language 
and inspired by the dreams of our people. This vision gave rise to the Ethiopian Artificial Intelligence Institute, guided by Digital Ethiopia 2025, we aimed higher than systems and set out to build thriving ecosystem. Today, over 65% of our population has access to clean, renewable energy. We have liberalized our telecommunications sector, unlocking competition and driving rapid expansion. As a result, the vast majority of our people have access to affordable broadband and mobile services. Ethio Telecom, before five years, was the most expensive telecom in Africa. After the reform, in a maximum of five years, today, the cheapest telecom and the biggest telecom in Africa. This is the outcome of our reform. But technology without inclusion is a complexity without purpose. Let me repeat this. Technology without inclusion is complexity without purpose. That's why we focused on building the foundations of digital society. In just a few years, more than 15 million Ethiopians and residents are holders of a digital ID, unlocking access to service, enhanced security, and new opportunities. Furthermore, digital payments have outpaced cash, and platforms are now connecting people to services in real time with tangible impact. In government, the majority of our public services have been digitalized. We recently launched a one-stop service center pilot project called MESOP, where 12 federal agencies provide 41 public services under one roof. This digital space connects citizens and service providers. It is more than a matter of convenience it is a foundation for trust, enhancing transparency, and empowering every individual to engage more efficiently with the government. To sustain this progress, we are nurturing a vibrant innovation ecosystem. We further run PhD program on AI, host international research collaborations, and organize summer school to inspire young minds, cultivate talent, and drive AI entrepreneurship. Through our five million coders initiative, nearly one million people are already gaining the skills of the future. And because ideas needs both space and support to grow, we have opened capital markets, reformed investment laws, and created new vehicles for funding innovation. Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, as we enter the next phase of our digital transformation and looking ahead to 2030, we envision a digitally empowered Ethiopia, a nation where bold ideas grow, where technology carries our identity, reflects our values, and responds to our most pressing needs. To realize this, we are making four core commitments. First, to build smart, reliable infrastructure for energy, connectivity, and data, ensuring that the foundation for progress is solid and sustainable. Second, to safeguard our digital sovereignty, our systems must remain secure. Our data must be governed responsibly and used to drive development and empower 
our people. Third, to invest in people by integrating digital literacy and AI education into schools, preparing students with the skills to think critically, use technology and innovation. Through advanced training in universities and skilling programs for workers, we aim to equip our citizens to lead in the digital age because technology is only as powerful as the people who shape it. Fourth, to enable a digital economy that leaves no one behind, whether in large cities or the most remote village. We will ensure that anyone can register a business, make a sale, access credit, all from a phone in their own language. Our ambition goes beyond our borders. We believe in a shared future, one where ideas are exchanged and growth is mutual. Industry 5.0 goes beyond technological evolution. It is about human collaboration, sustainability, and ethical progress. Rooted in unity, purpose, and inclusion, this vision sees AI and technology serving the collective good while respecting culture. Africa is not here to catch up. We are here to lead through inclusive, value-driven models that empower communities and leave no one behind. I thank you. Thank you,